You see, you're, you, you know, you're coming out with, as much you're as you making a fool like of yourself, is. please, there, there please believe me, in, in, uh, please believe me, you don't even know me. You don't even know me. Janie Jones is here. You know Janie Jones? Yes, I know Janie Jones. From the old days. Yeah, yes, yes. You were a cabaret yeah. singer, Janie That's Jones. Right. And in fact, I, what I will say, Tony, is she's probably the only person in this studio or watching tonight who has pointed a gun at the craze. That's possibly, right. Possibly. Possibly. Yes. <laughs> possibly. I did a cabaret act. Is she scarred? Is she scarred? Well, no, it was no. A, she was doing a dance. I was doing a dance. I was doing a routine at the Astor Club. Tell us about the routine. I was resident there for four years and I used to swing the guns and I used to work to the villains. There was the Richardsons who used to come in there and the Craze and Scarface Charlie and they'd get up and they'd sing with the two bands we had at the Astor and I'd do a complete routine with the guns, point them at the Craze so you can feel like Ken, you my rod and if you move it's going to be chitons. Stick it up, stick what up where? Then I'd say I've got a pair of 38s, in fact I've got two pairs of 38s. <laughs> uh, uh, Jenny, and do don't do the whole routine. routine <laughs> the, and I met the Craze, I sat with the Craze. What were they and like? They were what were they like? Well, I mean... Were they, they gentlemen? Were, they're a gentleman. Okay, you say they were a pair of now, gentlemen. Hang on, Janie, mm. hang on, Janie, let me put this point to you now. You say they were a pair of gentlemen, but Janie, yes. you weren't there to mop up the blood or dispose the bodies. No, you, but then again, in a society club where there'd be Princess Margaret and, and escorts at one side, I was introduced to the craze for the first time through a commander who said, uh, the owner of the club said the craze would like you to sit and have a drink. I said, oh, I'm not sitting with them. I was scared out of my... And when you, know, you did sit with them, what I did you say? I said, look, I'm a lesbian. He said, well, I'm a puff, sit and have a drink with me. <laughs> John O'Connor, uh, used to be with the Flying Squad. I was not that commander, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what about these guys? Well, you've got you to look at the... Uh, there's, there's, there's a legend and a mythology being built up around these kind of people. And if you actually look at what they are, they are bullies at the end of the day. They push their weight around, they intimidate people, they frighten people. They kill people. And it's no good Tony Lambriano saying, oh, we only kill our own. It's some mother's son, for Christ's sake. Right. You know, yeah. you haven't got the well, right to shoot son anybody. Had the old baby on him, would they? I mean, Sorry. To be fair about it, Jet the Atlet B was a villain the same as us. You do answer those that they would do to you.